Hello everybody, welcome to PowerPoint Academy channel. Today our video is about how to use Microsoft PowerPoint as a screen recorder application with high quality that may reach 4K. As you know, PowerPoint has many uses. You can add this one to them. In this video, I will show you how to record the screen and then what you can do with this recording in your presentation. But for starting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be able to watch our upcoming free tutorials. Let's go! Ok, as usual, right click on the slide and from layout choose plank to create a plank layout. And now to start your screen recording, just go to insert tab and you will have an option called screen recording. Click on it and you will have this window. Go back to the PowerPoint and here you have one, two, three, four and five options to before starting your recording. The first one is called record pointer. If you select it, the pointer of the mouse will be appear in the recording, while if you select it, there is no pointer in the recording, but I prefer to select it. Second one for audio to uh, choose if you want to record your audio as well as your screen or you want your screen only, but I prefer to record my screen only. Okay, this one to select area and if you click on it, you will have the, uh, the shape of pointer of the mouse to select the area you want to record it. I can select the slide area only, all, all of the slide, all of the screen, sorry, like this. Okay, these two options, there is one for record to start recording and this one to end the recording by click stop or as you see, you can click the Windows logo key in the uh, logo key in the keyboard plus shift plus Q or click on it. It's more easy. Okay, if you click record, this button will be changed to a uh, pause button to pause your recording if you want. Okay, and now start recording. I'll click on record. Three, two, one the recording is started okay let's do some work here write a uh, power point academy and make it more large like this okay and now to stop the recording as i told you you can click on shift plus the windows low key plus q from the keyboard or just go by your mouse pointer to the upper part of the screen and this one as i told you for pause and this one to end the recording and i want to end it by click on it okay as we end our screen recording you will have the video inserted in your uh, slide but I want to put it in another slide by click pressing Ctrl plus N to add a new slide. And you can deal with this record as if you deal with a picture in your slide. I will click on cut and here paste to paste it. Okay, you can change its size like this. And if you click here, the video will be started like this. Okay. And now we have video tools in the upper part of the screen and it consists of format and playback. Okay. This one have many options to deal with videos in generally in PowerPoint. A bookmark to add a point here. A bookmark to add a point to uh, start from it if you have a particular subject in this point, and you can click remove bookmark to remove any bookmark in the video. Okay. Trim video to uh, group the video, the length of the video I mean from the start and from the end. And after this, click on OK. Okay, fade in and fade out to 
control the fading in and fading out uh, as you deal with uh, the sound in the video. Okay, this one is for video options you can adjust the volume of the video if you record sounds of the video and this one for the animation of the video window you can start it automatically when the slide is opened or when click on it or in click sequence as your animation being set play full screen to play it in the full screen and leave the uh, leave the slide or leave the powerpoint window and hide why not playing if you click on preview like this there is no video but if you click on the screen it will be appear like this let's end the show okay loop until stood to uh, keep playing the video after uh, it stopped while rewind after playing to uh, put the pointer at the beginning of the video after the end of the video okay uh, regarding the format as i said to you you can as i told you you can deal with this video as if uh, you deal with a picture you can select a layout for it like this or this Okay, and you can deal with video borders, change the length, video shape, and the effects normally as you do with pictures. Okay, and you can change its colors and you can do corrections in the brightness of the color as well. Okay, what concerns in this part that you can click on it and from animation pen okay just delete all of this okay you can or you have three new options in the animation first one is play okay if you click on it you can start playing from the beginning or from the last position or from a particular time and you can stop playing on click also or after a current slide or after any number of slides okay and you have the normal options you have normally dealt with before and from start to delay duration and repeat and triggers post to post the uh, video in a particular time you want if you have uh, okay let's make a small example we have here this one and this word control v I have many objects to slide, I can animate them. First one to fly in, okay. Put it first and make it after previous to be previewed automatically, okay. And then I want to play the video. I will choose after previous, okay. And then, and animation goes the video okay i will make an entrance for this one to split before putting the video okay make it with previous but with delay two seconds then pause the video and let's review this word to understand my point here okay the video is played then the word is appear or oh, I made a mistake here okay I want this to be with previous to pause the video let's review it again appear okay when the word appear the video is stopped and you can play it again of course if you click on play okay and now we reached the end of our video if you like the video please like it and subscribe to our channel to be able to see our upcoming free tutorials thank you